We are back answering your stimulus and tax related questions with Mark Hensley from AARP North Carolina Triad Region and Kevin Robinson from Robinson Tax and Accounting. All right, this person is asking, should all the check versions of payments arrived by now? And what about my debit card versions? Are they still being sent out? So Tanya, I'm sending the, you this information by, um, by email so you can put it up on your need to know site. So there are two ways to trace your payment. If you have verification that a paper check went out, and you've not received it, you can call uh, the IRS at 1-800-919-9835 to issue a trace. And if it is a debit card payment, then you call MetaBank who are issuing those payments and they have a different number, 800-240-8100. And again, I'm gonna email that to you for your viewers. Uh, to put a trace out there because we know there are major delays with the Postal Service and also uh, with these debit cards people need to remember not to throw that away we know that 8 million Americans have not received their stimulus so there are a lot of problems with this and if the payment is out there you want to hopefully receive that before IRS filing starts on February the 12th. Mm -hmm. I know we're getting a bunch of questions that says my check says it was sent on January 6th, but I still haven't received it. The IRS did say it could take three to four weeks to process it, print it and actually get it mailed out. Um, so that takes it all the way to like February 3rd. So folks shouldn't panic as of yet. Yes. All right. Let's go on to this. This person is saying, is my uh, stimulus payment taxable income? Well, that's a good question, Tanya. I'm sure it's, it would be on my mind as well if I was getting something and are they going to tax me on it? But the, the short answer is no. It's actually just a advanced on the recovery rebate credit, uh, which the, re the rebate credit is on the 2020 return and the stimulus payments basically reconcile against it. So it's not taxable. It won't affect your refund. It won't impact you on Social Security as uh, far as income and any of that going back. So basically it is a credit and it's just an advanced payment of that credit. Mm -hmm. uh, this person says, should an adult dependent receive a stimulus payment? And I know that AARP was lobbying for adult dependents to be able to receive the stimulus payment, but that is not the case. Yeah, so this both uh, stimulus payment, the first one in the spring and then this latest one, define a dependent is age 16 or younger. So that really leaves a wide gap of not just youth, but those low income older adults who have usually an adult child that carry them as a dependent, they are not eligible for a stimulus. And this is really um, disappointing um, and hopefully will continue to advocate because these are the people that have the greatest needs because of their income level being so low. All right, and that was adult dependents. And then followed up as you were answering that question, someone texted in, aren't all teenage children eligible to receive a stimulus payment? And that's not true either. It's a certain age group. Yeah, the teen is 16 and younger. Um, some people say 17, uh, will say below age 17. I think it's very important to say you gotta be 16 and younger. If you're 17 and older, you're out. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this person is asking, what happens if you cut up the debit card by mistake? Mm. So the uh, MetaBank has a process that they will reissue the they will reissue that card. And again, um, just by contacting MetaBank at their toll free number 800-240-8100, there is an option to uh, report that you have mistakenly destroyed your debit card, or you can just simply uh, report it on your taxes and knowing that you have, have not cashed that payment, you've not utilized that payment uh, one way or another. Filing your taxes is going to be the way to clear up any of these problems. Mm -hmm. And we know that the tax filing starts April the 12th. And as uh, Kevin has said, it's going to go on for a long time because it, filing by paper takes longer. E-filing is much faster. Right. February 12th is when everything starts. And this is kind of a follow up question to that, Kevin. This person says, what if you're retired? How do you get your stimulus if you don't file taxes? Well, you know, that's a good point. I mean, some people have gotten they're retired and they've gotten their stimulus payment because their Social Security information was in the system. 
Um, but I really would encourage them to ret to go ahead and, and file, even if the only in income they have is Social Security. It's not going to trigger a tax bill for just Social Security only, but it does make sure they are in the system, their information is in the system so that they can get the stimulus payment, even if it's through the recovery rebate on the 2020 return. Mm -hmm. uh, this person is asking, can you explain why some people are getting less than the $600 amount? And Mark, I believe so, that's the threshold answer. Yeah, the, thre the income threshold is the real key here. So you want to make sure you're eligible. If you have made $75,000 adjusted gross income, remember that is after the IRS, you take your deductions, your standard deductions off it, $75,000 or less, then you're golden. You can get your full $600. Once your income begins to climb for every $100 earned, that stimulus is going to drop by five bucks. Now, in one of our last segments, someone said, well, I got a check for $126.75. That kind of confused us because there should be no partial dollars. And again, that's going to be likely a clerical error that's going to have to be rectified on a person's taxes. Right. That's not what they wanted to hear either, that they're going to have to wait for that and make sure that it's correct on the taxes. But again, it's line 30. We want to make sure that you know that the information that you're hearing here is in the two wants to know section. We're going to be adding those phone numbers that Mark just talked about for Metabank, for the debit card, and also for the IRS to be tracing your payment that has been mailed out. And that's only for mailed out. We're going to be right back and answering more of your questions next.